Whoa, 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 if it isn't the big booty blasters. Welcome in everyone to the patch 12.13 Yark Information Center. Let's get into the most popular question I've gotten on almost every single video. Items. Now very shortly after the guide I made came out, Halbrick got nerfed the first item and the meta had heavily shifted because of the durability update. So the Thali items and such have been weaker. We're going to cover all of the really good builds that are playable right now and what you should be going depending on your elo range. I'm going to display all of the builds right now that are generally very good. Be wary that some items can be swapped around here and there and depending on the enemies you're playing against, some items can be better or worse for example, Frozen Heart is amazing against stuff like Jackson Trinity, while Kenpunk Chainsaw is great against Vion and Irelia. Now that we've got the builds covered, let's get into everything that's changed for patch 12.13. Firstly, Divine Sender have been heavily changed, with its healing being buffed by a massive number, now additionally scaling off your base attack damage, and the damage scaling of more base AD and less percent health. In summary, this makes it so that Divine Sender is strong against squishier champions, while worse against tanks. Overall, this is a nice buff to the item, as it gives more survivability, something Yorick desperately wants, and the damage should be overall higher in the early game, which is very nice. And although it does less later on in the game, it isn't that important because Zarg scales incredibly well into the mid game anyways. Now another change that happened in this patch is the Hullbreaker bug fix. For those that don't know, Hullbreaker's resist whenever someone got near you used to decay over 3 seconds. But then in patch 12.5 they nerfed Hullbreaker, making it so that whenever you go near somebody with Hullbreaker, you instantly lose the stats, making it really awkward because sometimes you're mid fight and then you lose the resist and just get one shot. That's been the thing since patch 2.5 and I think everyone assumed that this was a nerf because everybody in pro play was rushing Hullbreaker and this nerf was meant to supplement the Rhesus nerfs for ranged champions. Well apparently this was a fucking bug! What? I mean all of it is back to normal now which is great but you're telling me it took over 3 months for Riot to realise Oh wait, we broke Hullbreaker lol. Anyways whatever, Hullbreaker is a much nicer item now and it is sort of viable in team fights. Now you can go for flanks from your teammates to join the team fights, and you can still get the value from Hullbreaker instead of having it go away instantly. And if people want to annoy you on the side lane, it's not that bad anymore because the arm and the MR will hover around for 3 seconds. Anyways guys, that's it for the patch 12.13 video- Wait, what is this? A new champion? Nyla? Oh damn, this is interesting. Let me see what she does. Where she briefly gains bonus move speed and dodges all incoming basic attacks. Wait, did I did, did I hear that right? Dodges all incoming basic attacks. Dodges all incoming basic attacks. Alright guys, Dark's shit tier, he's FT. Please buff him. Goodbye guys. Don't play him ever again. <laughs>